Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the Glide platform. Currently, we're on the layout page. This is the page where everything happens. This is the page where we add components to our app. This is where we create the layout, the design. This is where we assign data to the app. Everything happens here, right? And as you can see on the right hand side here, we have a nice menu with so many different options and features that we're going to be going through um, on a later stage. Then we can go to the tabs page right here. And this is the page where we begin. Because on this page, we can create different tabs for our, for our app, right? And what we mean by tabs, another word for tabs is pages, right? So different pages for the app. For example, if I had if I wanted to create a news app, I could have one tab that would be uh, the breaking news. And then if I create a new tab, I can have the local news, right? So this is, as you can see down here, we now have two pages on this app. And on one page, I can display all the breaking news. And on another page, I can display all the local news, right? So you can see by having different pages on your app, you can create different sections, you can create, um, you can add different data at different parts of the app, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. But this is basically where you create different tabs. Now, an important thing to note, is that every tab on glide has a specific source. And what do we mean by source, this is where this page gets data from. As I mentioned before, all the data we get for the app is going to be stored in our spreadsheet. So as you can see here, the source of this page is currently set to sheet one. This is the sheet that we have right here. As you can see down here, this sheet is called sheet one. I can go and click on this button right here and add a new sheet and I can call this sheet two, right? So now I have two sheets. I can go in and add as many sheets as I want. And then I can go here and assign the sheet I want this page to get data from. This is a very important concept to understand right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to show you an example. So I'm going to go back to sheet one. And we're going to add some data to this page. So I'm going to go here and call this um, title. So I'm going to make this as an example, I'm going to make this a breaking news page. So I'm going to, I'm going to list different uh, news titles, right? So every news article, let's say has a title, it has a description. And it also has an image, right? It has an author, and so on. I'm not going to add many fields for now. This is just an example. Now, when we're setting up a data structure, we always need to have headers. These are called headers, or you can call them fields, right? And I always like to make them bold. So they stand out. Now all the data is going to go below this fields, right? So every single row on my spreadsheet here, is going to have a different news article, right? These are called entries, right? Every single row is a different piece of data. So let's say I want to create one article here, I want to call this um, breaking news article one, right? This is an example description the image is actually going to be a little bit harder for now because we need to find an image. So I'm just gonna let me just delete this for now. Let's just delete delete this column, we're going to come back to that later. And then let's add an author, I'm going to put my name here. So now, if we go back to the app, the first thing we see is that new columns found. What this means is that glide has seen that we have added new columns to our sheet. And it's asking whether we want to automatically add the components for them on the app. And you don't have to worry about this, what this means exactly right now, we just click Yes. And now, it should actually display the data here. But usually what you need to do guys is go and click on this button right here, which is going to refresh the data. Missing sheets or columns some data, some data was deleted from the sheet, do you want to automatically remove the components 
I'm going to click remove even though I'm not quite sure what it means at this point because we haven't added any components. But yeah, there you go. So it has refreshed the um, the app and now we can see that the article we have added on our spreadsheet is now displayed on this page. And the reason it happens is because the source of this page, the source that we get data for this page is set to sheet one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rename this sheet to breaking news, right? Because that makes more sense. And I'm going to rename this one to local news. So now let's see if this works. So if I reload, usually this doesn't, it takes some time to update, but let's take a look and see. Yeah, um, I get this error every time when I rename the sheets. It usually takes some time, but the idea guys is that when you rename the sheet, it should also rename the sheet right there. But it doesn't matter. It, it, it usually takes a, a little bit of time to refresh. Um, now, what we're going to do, I'm going to give you another example here and we're going to create a new row. I'm going to copy the same data. I'm just going to name this article two. This is an example description two, and this is the same author. So now it has already refreshed. I'm going to refresh it once again because it needs to update to the new data that we added. So as you can see now, we have two articles and the source name has also refreshed to breaking news. So there you go, guys. This is how we add data to a page. This is a very simple explanation. Now let's go to local news. Um, and the reason why we we are now on the local news page, but we get the same data. Guess why that happens is because the source is set to breaking news. So we actually need to change this to local news. Now, the reason why local news doesn't appear here is because we don't have any data yet on the local news sheet. So what we need to do is let me just copy the same headings for this sheet right here. Title, description, author. And now let's add a new title. This is local news article one. This is a description. And my name, right? So now let's go back. Let's refresh. And now if we go here, no, let's make sure that we are on local news and let's go to source. And now, as you can see, we have local news right there. When we click on that, we get our entry right there. Right, guys. So this is a really uh, simple explanation for you to understand how Glide works and how it's able to get data from specific sheets on the um, on the on the spreadsheet. So this is it for this video, guys. Make sure to experiment with it. Try to create new tabs on your app and add some data to your spreadsheet and try to link that data to a specific tab and see whether your data is displayed on the page. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can customize the, the way that this data is viewed on the page.